Hi, I'm Kyle with Razorback Off-Road, here today to talk you through the install of our 2021 and up Can-Am Commander folding front windshield. Here on the table we've got all the parts, all the hardware, and all the tools that we're going to need. All this can be done with simple hand tools, but for the sake of shortening the otherwise long video, I'm going to use an impact gun to take some of these nuts and bolts off. So starting at this end, we'll work our way down. We've got the windshield, lower panel, upper panel, windshield rest and mounting bracket. We've got a couple brackets for the windshield itself, all of our hardware, then hand tools. So we got screwdrivers, wrenches. These ones are ratcheting wrenches, sockets, ratchet. And then you'll also need a marker and a drill. I'd recommend one drill size up from a quarter inch just to give you a little bit of clearance for putting that windshield rest on. This you can either use or ignore. I'm gonna do this to make it simple, make it fast, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is some housekeeping. I'm gonna get all the body panels, the grill, and the roof off of the machine. So to get the grill off, pull these little tabs down, rotate it out, pull it up out of the way. And we'll just put everything inside the machine so it's out of our way while we're doing our install. For the hood, there's a little catch on the top. Pull it towards you, lift it up and out. There's four Torx bolts, T30. We'll pull all those out, get these fenders off. On the roof, we've got four T30 Torx in the front and four more in the back for a total of eight. Okay, keep these together, keep them organized so it's easy to put this all back together when we're done. Okay, now to get the ones off the roof, I'll need in addition a 10 millimeter wrench. In fact, let's have our resident tall guy come in and do this so you don't have to see me stand on my tippy toes. Brian, if you'd help me out, please. So again, to help us shorten the video, we've already removed the hardware from this side of the roof. So Brian's just gonna show us and walk us through this side. There's these bolts on the outside. And then on the inside, there's bolts on the inside that we'll need to take off on this front rail. And then four more across the back. Okay, now that Brian's got all the bolts out, we just lift it straight up and set it back. You don't need to take it completely off the machine. Thanks, Brian. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna work on is getting the hood rest installed. Because the last thing we wanna do is get the whole windshield installed and then have somebody accidentally drop the windshield down without having the hood rest on. So we're gonna take this, line it up, we'll mark it and drill it. This is the only drilling you have to do on this whole project. So that's good, we try to minimize that. So one thing to note before we line this up on the machine, we wanna get it nice and centered on the front of the machine. So what we've done is add these little notches on either side of the bracket. Those line up with these pieces on the grill so that you know you're actually centered on the machine. So we'll take our bracket, take our rest, eyeball it to center. And then what I'll do is squat down here in the front so I can see through both sides and see that I'm centered up. Now I'll take my marker, mark my position on both sides, and then remove the hood rest so I can drill out those holes. Again, you want one size up from a quarter inch drill bit, that way you've got plenty of clearance for your hardware. Go nice and slow, nice and easy, light pressure. You just have to get through that one layer of plastic, which is why we have a mounting bracket behind it. Last thing we need to do before we can install the window rest is to take those fenders off. I know it seems a little harsh, but don't worry, they won't break. Now that we've got our holes drilled, we can install the window rest using the mounting bracket and the provided hardware. One thing you can do to make life a little easier is grab a piece of masking tape to help hold your window rest in place. So I'll just peel off a little piece. Set my rest in place, line it up with the holes that we just drilled. and just hold it there like that. 
Now the next thing we can do is grab our mounting bracket, weave it up inside until you can see it from the top side, and then just get our bolts started. Go easy and be gentle so you don't beat up your radiator. Okay, get the first one started just finger tight. Get the opposite one started. This is where the tape comes in handy so things don't fall apart. So now that we've got that bracket in there, bolts are hand tight. We're going to grab, where to go? 3 8 ratcheting wrench and get them tightened down. Once everything's tightened down, we can remove the tape. Next, we're gonna install these little brackets onto our upper visor mount. The way these go, place these with the hook facing out. We'll grab our short carriage bolts, run them through, and get nuts on these, but just get them started. We don't wanna tighten them because we're gonna to need to rotate them in place once we get it on the machine. Once those hooks are on there nice and loose, grab our other carriage bolts and nuts, take it over to the machine, set it up in place. There's brackets on the machines with holes in them already. That's where we're gonna feed our carriage bolts through from the top. And once again, we're just gonna get nuts loosely started on there till we have everything where we want it and then we'll tighten it all down together. Now that the upper visor mount is in place, we're gonna rotate these little hooks up into the holes in the frame. Make sure your carriage bolt is pushed in. Okay, tighten it down. Same thing for the other side. Rotate it up into place. And then once these are tight, we can tighten down the top ones. And then we go back and we tighten down these top bolts. Now that the upper mount is mounted and tightened down, we can do the lower panel. For this, you're gonna need your lower panel and your four six millimeter bolts. And for that, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench and socket. Okay, now there's a little bit of a trick to get this in place. It's already got these brackets on here, but the way to do this is you set one end in place all the way at the bottom and you rotate the other end in. Let me get these out of the way. Okay, there we go. Next thing to note, this panel needs to tuck behind this piece of plastic on the body. And I'd recommend you get these bolts started on the bottom first, when you can still move the panel around. Get them to bite. Just like with the upper panel, we're just gonna get everything loosely installed. Don't even get it finger tight, just get a couple of threads started until we have all of our hardware in place. For these brackets that tie into the frame here, a little trick you can do is kind of squeeze the bracket as you put the bolt in. And it'll help give you enough clearance that you can turn the bolt by hand. Okay, get this last bolt finger tight. Then we can take our wrench, tighten these down, and just work our way back across. Okay, and the last piece we need to install is the windshield itself. And for that, we're gonna need these stainless bolts and nuts. 
and our windshield. It's a little bit heavy, so take your time, move carefully. We need to line up these brackets on both sides. And at that point, you can just lay the windshield back for hardware install. Now that you've got the windshield resting, you don't have to hold it. The gaskets will have enough friction to hold it in place. Then what you'll do is just rotate and move the windshield around until you can get the bolt installed. Once again, we'll just get everything started, and then we'll come back through and tighten it all down. Okay, and for this hardware, you're gonna want a number three Phillips and a 7 16 wrench. trick for this is you get it snug and then back it off about a quarter turn. That way it doesn't bind when you try to open and close the windshield. Check and see if it rotates freely. Yep, looks good. And then we'll test these latches and make sure they work. If they're difficult to get into place, take a look at your window and make sure that it's squared up in the frame. If it's crooked, one thing that can happen is we've left adjustment room in this lower panel mounting hardware. If your window is crooked in the frame, Take a look at your lower panel. It may need to get adjusted a little bit so that you can get everything latched down properly. That side works. That side works, so we're good there. Next thing we'll do is open it up, fold it down, test all of that, make sure we're happy with it. Okay, set it in place, make sure your latches work. Last thing to do, get all our body panels back on, get the roof back in place, and then we're good to go. If you do decide to put them back in with a gun like this, just give them one or two Ugga Duggas. Don't go nuts. Last piece to go on is the hood. It's got these little rounded brackets on here. So you set it in vertically and then you rotate it down into place. It's going to be a little tighter than it was before, but all you got to do is give it a little pop. Okay. And that's it. Windshield's installed. Everything's in place. Everything looks good. Everything functions. So there you have it. There's our 2021 and up Can-Am Commander folding front windshield. Thanks for joining us for this install video. We'll see you out on the trail.